What's going on guys? It is story time. Uh, my first story is of this actual past weekend, believe it or not. Um, so I'm going to split this into two different days. We're going to call it, uh, we'll call it Chasing Chrome. So, a very good friend of mine, uh, and another new very good friend of mine, uh, Nate Treshler, and his buddy Evan, uh, who's an incredible photographer, um, bo uh, both decided to join me for a weekend for of steelhead. Uh, now I'm not sure if either had ever caught a steelhead before, um, but I know for, for, for a fact that it was Nate's uh, first. He owns the Fly Crate. It's a really awesome service, so check them out. Also, uh, I'll make sure that both of their Instagram handles are in the video, and maybe some websites in the description below. <clears throat> but I, uh, I was really excited, but I was also extremely nervous because anytime you uh, try to help a friend uh, experience a first, especially when it comes to fishing, it's extremely daunting. Uh, you want to make sure that you help them out the best you can, make sure that things are successful. And uh, I can tell you that for the 20 fish that we hooked into and had a solid effort at landing, uh, basically going to show just a highlight reel of these next few days as I tell you the story. But I wanted to demonstrate that you don't necessarily need to follow the rules or uh, do what everyone else is doing in order to have a good time and make things work. I know that I actually tied a special pattern myself uh, for steelhead that of the 20 fish we hooked into I would say the majority whether that be 16 to 18 were caught on this fly or a rig with this fly in it but most of them took it and, and the majority of the eats we had also with the exception of one or two eggs were on this fly and uh, it's something I completely thought would work because it worked on my local brown stream it worked on local rainbows and so why could it not work for these fish as well? Uh, now, neither of these guys really understood the raw power of what these fish can offer, what these fish feel like, what these fish hit like, and what these fish pull like. So it was very unique to be able to demonstrate that to them. And But the, but that, the first fish they saw was not actually the first fish they caught. I accidentally hooked into a fish trying to find the bottom for them and to, to make sure that we have enough weight because the, the style of fishing we do for these fish around us in the Great Lakes in these small trips is a lot different. We're not swinging uh, you know, streamers or wet flies. We're actually uh, Euronymphic for these fish. A lot of guys like to use floats but we, we typically like to Euronymph for these really tight pockets of water and deep pools. and it does really well and works extremely effectively. And so I accidentally hooked into one. I tried to pass it off, but uh, they weren't having it. They're men of their word and wanted everyone to catch fish. So when we landed the first fish, uh, they got a good glimpse of what we're actually looking to accomplish and what we're actually looking to catch. And needless to say, they really were in awe. So Nate, the owner of Fly Crate and an incredible guy, entrepreneur, uh, he actually hooked into, between the two others, he actually hooked into the, the first uh, fish of the day other than the accidental fish in the beginning. And he really enjoyed himself that day. He did fairly well. He lost a few fish uh, throughout day one, but let's just say that the fish he did catch was a stunner. Um, and he really proved himself to be a great angler, but so did Evan. So, uh, we started off day one uh, at one location in one creek and then once we kind of exhausted that spot we packed up and we hiked back to the car and decided to get lunch now who doesn't like Wendy's Wendy's is an awesome uh, ordeal and uh, usually leaves the tummy feeling great and the body feeling good uh, for some but after we got Wendy's we headed about 15 minutes away to the next creek and we hooked up really quickly first five casts we had two fish uh, into some smaller jacks now this is late December and so what we noticed and what I was able to explain to them is the difference between fish that have been in the water in the river for a while and the fish that have kind of come in with, with new rain or new uh, snow melt runoff and what was unique about the situation was we had the right you know, fronts coming through before. We had the perfect stain in the water due to a little bit of runoff 
from warming after a huge snowfall and it just worked out perfectly and the water temperature was right and that's kind of where we ended up uh, finding a lot of success. So we get to the second day or the second uh, place and we do fairly well as well. We hook into a few fish and we end the day with about uh, 12 hookups and about seven or eight lands. I can't remember. We, we landed so many fish and took some phenomenal photos that uh, I'm going to show you here during the video as well uh, that Evan took. He's a fantastic photographer, wildlife as well as uh, commercial and professional. Uh, his link is in the description below but uh, also check the, both, them both out on Instagram. Uh, but we concluded day one by reminiscing all the way back about an hour's drive back to the place they're staying at. Uh, Airbnb, it's a really cool like wooden chateau lodge thing that I didn't even know existed around me. So I learned something, these guys learned something because you know the stigma is you, whenever you're fishing for steelhead you swing, you swing or you float and that's not always the case. You have to assess your water and assess your fish and if you know how to do that then you're gonna find fish that others wouldn't even know existed. Hopefully you guys liked the first part of our story time chasing chrome and uh, hopefully more this season as more, whether it be YouTube celebrities or industry celebrities or good friends of mine come by, I'll have some more stories. Stay tuned for day two and uh, that'll come very soon and starring, you know, featuring our buddy Nate and Evan again. Oh, two awesome dudes and uh, I'm really excited to have been able to do this for them.